Hello and welcome to Mostai TV. Uh, my name is Kai Tanaman, aka Mo Tansen, and you watching Mostai TV. Okay, um, yes, you see it, uh, you read it, and the, the whole world talked about it. Uh, Maxon announced the uh, latest and uh, new cinema version. Um, now are 16, and it's, it's a bit funny because. Uh, I started uh, this uh, new YouTube channel uh, one year ago with a series of uh, the new features from the, this time, new R15. And yeah, now one year is over and <laughs> we're doing the same again. So, and at the beginning, um, this is just to introduce uh, to, to uh, the new R16, um, as always, I just use this to say hello and uh, maybe show you uh, new, uh, some of the new little features that um, are a bit in the shadows of the bigger ones. But uh, yeah, let's see. Okay, this is a new interface, Cinema R16. You? Yeah, it's, it's not. Not much changed. Here are some new buttons, and of course, uh, you see this one. Ooh. <laughs> okay, but uh, this, uh, I like to talk about this later. So, what had Max and Dan and last year? The the, the biggest uh, new feature is of course this motion tracking thing. Uh, we'll do our own uh, episode about it, uh, so we can. I, I show you the functionality of this thing later and um, yeah the team renderer uh, uh, appeared last year and uh, yeah everyone was happy that you can render bigger uh, pictures with all your client computers and your studio and something but um, from time to time we missing some of the good old net render features and this year, <laughs> uh, the the net render features comes back to the team render. So Maxon uh, did a complete new uh, interface uh, for for web uh, browsers, uh, like in the net version, but uh, this time new. And now we, yeah, can use uh, the team render in Cinema 4D like before. But we have a separate uh, server and client uh, that we can use it uh, in the same behavior like the net render, and this is great. Now we have uh, the best of both worlds, and of course, um, yeah, there there is uh, some something new in the material system. You see this? Yeah, Maxon uh, did a comp flat new uh, reflection thing in the material and m maybe when you are using uh, more than the Maxon internal advanced renderer uh, for example V-Ray or something you, you know uh, V-Ray is uh, especially known for his ability to make more complex reflection stuff yeah for example uh, the, the biggest example is always car paint yeah where more uh, layers with different reflection uh, behaviors are over each other, and uh, this is now built in Cinema 2. Yeah, great thing. You see, looks very different than the old version, and here is some stuff I show later too. And um, yeah, the, the rest is okay. I, I what I have to say um, uh, this year, I, I working, 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 and having much time to to. Uh, go with all the new R16 features in deep, but uh, and, and so I, I picked out the, the most interesting ones and uh, like to show you. But uh, some like the polygon pen, <laughs> uh, I haven't a clue at the moment. Yeah, I, I'm not sh not sure uh, what what this polygon pen did, but I'm sure my uh, friends at YouTube and, and somewhere will show us. What, what happens with the polygon pen. Um, for the moment I just know uh, it's, it's very cool and easy to paint some polygons but there is some more uh, functionality in it. 
and it's especially interesting for people that uh, during uh, re, re topo stuff yeah and uh, yeah but at the moment uh, we have to wait uh, maybe i find time to to uh, check out our features from from Polygon pen or maybe you will watch some other video from other guys then i concentrate on the most uh, interesting ones uh, and, and the new ones. Oh, and there's a really useful thing, yeah? This is um, the new bevel deformer. You know, uh, last year we have this new bevel tool. That means uh, you can select some edges of an object and doing this bevel stuff, yeah? So, you know? Very complex stuff, very cool. So, and this time uh, we have a bevel deformer. That means I just give the same cube this deformer and again doing uh, some beveling moment. Yeah, edges. You can again, uh, you can again select edges and this one. Okay, you see. Um, yeah, uh, the deformer <laughs> did the beveling uh, like the functionality before, but it's of course a parametric. This, that means I can switch it off and it's an original object. And this is a great tool because uh, this is so much uh, more flexible than uh, uh, doing this with the cube. And uh, sorry, what is this? Oh, my Adobe thing always uh, have this red cyan. I'm always thinking, oh no, what happened there? Anyway, Adobe, yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, Battle Deformer, very great, very useful. And uh, there's more. Oh, yeah, in, in the other deformers, uh, now every deformer has a fall off, yeah. I try to show you an example moment like uh, the twist deformer, maybe. So normally it's like this. Oh, I have to put there. And now we can give them a fall off. Yeah, box, why not? So, hmm, interesting. And with this fall off, can do smooth transitions. You see now uh, the heavy transition uh, area is the red one, and the yellow one is is the fall off uh, area. So okay, it's, it's not very useful on this cube, I'm afraid, but uh, you get the idea. Yeah, every deformer now is a fall off. It's very useful, though so you can uh, give deformations more precise and, and more flexible and maybe we just take the tab of the former with the fall off box okay you see please tapper just this so and it this uh, wasn't possible before, and yeah, it's very nice, it's a very uh, good addition too. You see, can model some kind of strange half deformed object with a smooth transition to the original uh, shape, and oh, my cigarette went off. And this is great, and uh, oops, maybe not all of you noticed. Um, a little interesting thing here is uh, in the alt r15 rendering uh, on car with sketching tunes is uh, out of an actual job and you see it's well 14 minutes right now and yeah it, it will uh, need some time too and um, what is interesting is uh, maxon uh, rewriting the special renderer for 
sketching tool and for the hair. Yeah, uh, normally the, the hair and sketching tool was separated and you can't render it in one scene. And now uh, Maxim did a new renderer, it's called. Um, moment. Yeah, it's logical uh, called B renderer. And uh, it's, it's interesting because um, the, the whole uh, sketch and tune functionality uh, isn't uh, now completely new, it's just a rendering. But it's interesting because uh, you see this uh, R15 rendering talks uh, 16 minutes. Yeah, it's, it's in very high quality, it's a complex object. And the police coming to me. It's a complex object and needs much time, it's okay. Uh, 16 minutes, wow, that's much time. And I load the, the same scene here in R16 and watch what happened. Um, okay, okay, Sack. So now we're running the same scene in R16 and you can see it's it's again the same stuff. Uh, at first, uh, the sketch and tune algorithm uh, preparing uh, the the calculations for the lines and something. And okay, it can uh, <laughs> uh, go a bit further. Um, the 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 rendering himself is, it's so much faster. I'm not sure uh, what's happened now, but and in the last test, I have just three minutes or so. Uh, we have to see. Okay, and the, the great addition too is um, the, you, now you can render hair and sketch and tune in one scene. Yeah, it's combined this and, and it's just great. We can test it uh, while this, this guy is rendering. I just doing a standard uh, hair. Whoop, like this. Okay. Oops. Yes, sir. Come show on. <laughs> so, you know this? Then, uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe just this, this cube and give them sketch and tune shader. Boom. So, <laughs> sketch and tune and hair and one scene. And you see the, the sphere is uh, sketch and tune 2. So we have to give them the sketch and tune render tag and uh, don't allow to paint lines and make the sketch and tune shading. So now it's 100% hair and sketch and tune and that's great. So, and our oh, rendering still running. We have to wait. Oh, and, and maybe while we're waiting, um, I can uh, talk about more things. So, um, yeah, <laughs> there are great new additions uh, to, to the Corp wheel. I'm not sure uh, how much uh, your guys using this Corp wheel. I didn't use it. Oh, no, no, it's not true. In, in the last 15 years, I exactly used it one time. It's, it's true. Uh, yeah, and now there are, is, is some new stuff in, uh, yeah, but okay, this is easy stuff, you, you can watch it by yourself and, uh, oh, there's some in interesting stuff, but yeah, it's, it's very special, it's, it's a cock wheel and uh, <laughs> you can do now, uh, do uh, more advanced stuff with the cock wheel, yeah. So, and there is something uh, interesting uh, new, uh, especially when you're working in teams. Yeah, there is a, a so-called um, interaction tag. That means um, you can give now the. I have to search this. Sorry, it's it's new to do. Okay, ah, this one, <laughs> and say, hey. A cube. So, and when you uh, give this scene to to your colleagues or or whatever, <laughs> this is attached to the object. Yeah, <laughs> it's very funny. Or to this. Yeah. So and this is great because when you have complex scenes and and uh, there are just a, a few changes or something, or or you will give the scene to another artist, uh, 
that have to work with your scene, you, you can do some comments directly into the 3D scene. Yeah? Useful stuff when you're working with teams or <laughs> when you just like to give yourself some ideas. Uh, don't forget to bevel this edge. <laughs> so, boop. Oh. So, and the next time when I load the scene, I remember, oh, I have to bevel this edge. Yeah, and what we learned is with the new bevel deformer. Click, beveling done. Okay. And uh, yeah, you can of course uh, give an, <laughs> an URL. And now it's hey a cube, and you can hit the URL, and the web browser opens and bring you to the magic internet. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Okay, okay. Let's see what our oh sketch and tune running is capable. Yeah, three minutes. So you remember the odd one, sixteen minutes. Very much time, and the new one, just three minutes. So, I'm I'm not sure if this is a special case or something, um, but it's it's one of the most complex uh, sketch and tune scenes I uh, used. Uh, so uh, and and it's it's funny because it's it's from an actual job we just finished last week, and um, yeah, I wish I used uh, R16 for it <laughs> because uh, yeah, it's it's a very uh, different in runner time. So what what I know is that uh, um, the the calculations for for the sketch and tune is still uh, single thread. It's, it's no uh, fancy multi thread stuff. But anyway, the the the, the running himself is so much faster and. Um, yeah, the quality is equal to, to the last one's uh, higher settings. And yes, it's great. So, my Sketch and Tune job is done, but maybe <laughs> when we get a new one, then I'm prepared for faster Sketch and Tune running. And Sketch and Tune is still uh, one of the um, most interesting parts in Cinema 4D, and uh, it's it's not much used uh, out there, and and yeah, it's it's a shame. It's a really very great tool, and uh, yeah, some someday you will see our with the job we did with uh, Sketch and Tune, and maybe you like it and take it as inspiration to use Sketch and Tune more and now faster. So it's great. Okay, okay, what's left? Um, These are all very nice uh, additions. And here, what can I show you? Oh, yeah, it's inter interesting. Um, they updated uh, the Alembic uh, X and import yeah, to the newest version. It's, it's uh, always great. And FBX2. So when you have to exchange uh, things with uh, people that are using Arthur 3D packages, yes. There should be some, uh, I don't know. Um, yeah, you now have the latest FBX and Alembic uh, iterations, and it's, it's always good to be compatible to the rest of the world. And there is, uh, yeah, something left. Yeah, there's some uh, UV peeler tool for. Uh, unwrap uh, cylindrical meshes, but I, I didn't watch it right now, so show you later maybe. And yeah, okay, okay, okay. This is uh, enough for, for the first quick view on, on the uh, brand new R16. Um, I split now in, in some uh, episodes where I show you the most interesting new functionalities so readily. Okay, so I hope you uh, now happy about the new release and um, yeah, subscribe then to my channel uh, so you will be informed about more and, and deeper things uh, from this R16. Yeah, fasten seatbelts. 
This was Mo Tansen for Mo Style TV, and this episode is again sponsored by Isa Isa. And have fun in the sun, you know. Bye bye. <laughs>